Hi, and welcome to Craner Art Museum Yoga. I am Jody. Welcome again to my living room. I'm happy to be here on this beautiful sunny day. Spring is coming. Hopefully you feel that in your body. So we will go ahead and get started seated. Let's actually start on our backs. And so with that, with your props in place, the strap, blanket, couple blocks, we can do a heart opener. So that can be a great way to begin the practice. One block underneath the shoulder blades, one block under the head, reclining back. If you don't have that, you can always use a blanket or a pillow. We just want to lay on the back in a way that the front of the body opens. So relaxing into your props onto the mat. No need to go for a stretch sensation. We want the body to be calm, not exciting the nervous system, rather calming it. And the ability to breathe easily. And just beginning to support ourselves in this way, the body, the mind, the emotions, the place where we can be seen, heard, a place of pause and a place of deeper connection to yourself. And welcome yourself to your practice. Checking in with the body, make any adjustments you need to. And if you've got any tension in the low back, you can keep knees bent, feet planted, or legs long, feet wide. Making any adjustments to arms or the head. Even subtle shifts and changes can make all the difference. And then once you have that safe space that you've created, you can relax the body and the mind. And just focus on the breath for a moment. And in a space of quiet and stillness, noticing what comes up for the mind. Any thoughts, any emotions that might be alive for you. And then just returning to the breath. So just letting that be your practice for the next several breaths. And then begin to deepen the breath. Breathing more fully into the lungs, feeling the expansion, the effects of the breath on the body. Knowing also it has an impact on the nervous system. The more we can utilize those lower lobes of the lungs, the more we activate that rest and digest, stay in play, parasympathetic nervous system, a few breaths like that, really inviting that calm and that ease into the body at a deep level. One more inhalation in through the nose, and then as you exhale, just breathe out through the mouth. And do a couple more like that, constricting the back of the throat, inhaling. And exhaling like you're fogging a pane of glass, building a little heat in the throat, a little bit of sound for focusing the mind. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling, finding a release. And if you feel 
feel called to it, you can form an intention for this practice. Just something that's personal for you. Something to help remind you of what you need and why you're here. And starting to create some movement in the body. Moving fingers, moving toes. You can stretch long through the body if that feels good. Moving into other joints, just exploring your own body, wrists, ankles. You can open and close the mouth into a yawn, into a deeper breath. And then starting to rebend knees, replant feet. If you're on a support like I am with the blocks, just stretch the arms to the sides. So really utilizing the height that these props afford for the body to open in the front, in the chest, in the home of the lungs. So creating space by breathing here, you can start to even play with the hands. So extending through fingers, extending through the wrists. And curling the fingers in, flexing at the wrist. And finding that wrist extension as you spread through fingers. And then curling fingers in, gentle fists as you curl in at the wrist joint. And just starting to make some circles at the wrist as well. So really lubricating these joints. Think about feeding the joints through movement. You can start to circle in the opposite direction. Stilling the movement, one more breath. Then we'll just carefully dismount off of these props. So take your time, you can roll gently to either side. You can rest your head on your arm, curling more into a fetal position. And then we will come back onto our back so you can move props out of the way but just have your block within arm's reach. Your strap is what I meant to say. <laughs> so with the strap within arm's reach, again, just taking a full body stretch here, arms long, legs long, spread fingers and toes, open, close the mouth, rocking out the legs, whatever feels good. And start to relax arms down alongside the body, tuck the shoulders away from the ears. The legs can stay long or knees can stay bent, so just listen to the low back on that. Starting to rock the head gently from side to side, massaging the back of the skull, and working into a greater range of motion for the neck. Notice where there's resistance to this movement. Just making note of that. And then Arriving back through center, align the neck with the rest of the spine, gazing skyward. Starting to relax the right ear down towards the right shoulder, no intention of touching the two. You can start to reach the left fingers down towards the left heel, creating a little bit more space on that left side. And breathe. Relax through the body, releasing too much effort so we can stay soft here. Staying here, or you can float that right arm up, reaching the fingers just above the left ear. Think about drawing that right ear down towards the right shoulder. And keeping the right elbow heavy, the right shoulder heavy. Just breathe. more breath. And then just starting to align the neck with the rest of the spine as you relax the right arm down alongside the body and just rocking the head from side to side. And 
arriving, coming back through center. Starting to draw the left ear down towards the left shoulder, reach the right fingers down towards the right heel. So those opposing actions are really what creates the space. Staying here, or you can float that left arm up, fingers just above the right ear, just a gentle invitation to open a bit more the right side of the neck as you breathe. Soften the face, the jaw, the lips, a couple more breaths. Relaxing the left arm down alongside the body and just again, the alignment of the neck with the rest of the spine, starting to rock the head gently from side to side. Arriving eventually back through your center. From here, you can bend the knees, hug them into the chest. Resisting any urge to move and just start to open the knees wide. Elbows heavy, head heavy, heels heavy. Three deep belly breaths, feeling that expansion with the inner legs. Pressing the palms to the outer edges of the knees, draw them closer together, and then relax the feet back down to the earth, taking a full body stretch once again. Long through arms overhead, long through the legs. And then just draping the right ankle on top of the left, taking hold of the right wrist with the left hand. And then you're just going to kind of pivot the upper body and the lower body to the corners of the mat into like a C shape. Relaxing as much as possible. It's just an opening on the right side of the body. Notice where you feel that. I'm taking some deeper breaths to explore that. Soften where you're able. A couple more breaths here. And releasing out. You can just relax the right arm, relax the right heel to the earth. Think about straightening up through the body. Stretching along through arms and legs once again. And rock out through the legs. And then just coming to the other side, so draping the left ankle on top of the right, taking hold of the left wrist with the right hand, pivoting over to the right corner of the mat until you feel a gentle stretch on that left side. Breathing here. Head heavy. Making any adjustment you need to the body to feel safe, but also to get that perfect stretch for you. Just a couple more breaths.
starting to slowly release out. You can take that full body stretch, spread fingers, spread toes, spreading arms and legs. Breathing, maybe a cleansing breath. Relax the arms alongside the body once again, bending one knee, bend the other, and finally we'll use this strap. You can find the strap and place it at the ball mound of both feet. The feet can go skyward, you can have a softness to the knees, we're just elevating the legs, reversing gravity, just a gentle grip on the strap, rooting the shoulders down to the earth, so there's no tension there. And think about creating space, maybe spreading toes. An invitation to stay, where it may feel good to separate the feet wide on the strap. So we're just opening up the inner legs. Pausing, noticing, breathing. You may feel good to create some rocking action of the legs, keeping them nice and wide on the strap, maybe even touching the pinky toe edges of the feet to the earth with this gentle rocking motion from side to side. And arriving eventually back through center, Head heavy, tailbone grounding, three more deep breaths. Starting to slowly draw the knees, legs closer together, bring the soles of the feet together Keep walking the hands up the strap towards the feet. Even if you can take hold of the feet here, use the strap and we can play with this. A little bit of arm strength, bending at the elbows, drawing the heels close to the inner V of the body. You can feed the strap out a little bit more, maybe stretching more towards the tops of the legs and the hips. So you can kind of play with this. Notice the play of the pelvis, the more you draw the feet in, the more that the pelvic tuck occurs, more of a lift of the tailbone, and the more that you draw the pinky toe edges of the feet down, the more you come back into that more natural curvature of the low spine. Maybe finding somewhere a sweet spot in between those two. You can rock a little from side to side, that could feel good. And then eventually start to feed the feet towards the earth. Keep the soles of the feet together. Once you touch down, you can relax the arms alongside. Maybe open up the chest into goalpost arms or cactus arms. Just breathing softly into the belly. Again, we want that nervous system response. We need to make sure the body feels safe. You can always use blocks underneath the knees or the thighs if you need them, if there's too much of a stretch sensation. And just take three more deep belly breaths here. start to relax the arms back down alongside the body. You can use the hands to press the outer edges of the knees up, planting the feet. Just move the strap out to the side. Move blocks to the side if you've been using them. And then just inner knees touching outer edges of the feet towards outer edges of the mat. 
Inhale through center. Exhale, knees to the right, gaze to the left. Inhaling back through center. And then exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Just windshield wiper the legs gently, slowly, on your own from side to side. Just take your time. about opening the hips, lubricating the hip joint through movement. Let's say one more time from side to side, flowing with your breath. And arriving, as you come back through center, inner knees touching, belly soft, one more breath. And start to separate the knees and heel to toe the feet closer together. And hug the knees in towards the chest. Just a little rock from side to side, or even making circles with the knees in one direction it can feel nice. More massaging of the sacrum, the low back area, and massaging of the glutes, so the buttock muscles, and start to circle in the opposite direction. And hugging knees into the chest, lift the head, lift the shoulders, core is active, keep breathing here, you can reach the fingertips as if they could touch the wall in front of you. And the action is coming from the strength of the core, try not to strain the neck too much. One more inhalation with this lift and then exhale, lowering back down, and keep the knees lifted but relax any effort, and just breathe. And again, lift the head, lift the shoulders, staying lifted, core active. And you can play with lengthening the legs. You can play with extending one leg out, heel just hovering above the earth, then the other. One more breath, lifting a little higher, knees bending, and relaxing the head and the shoulders back down. You can rock the head from side to side. That can help release any tension there in the neck and the shoulder area. And then just arriving, coming back through center. It's your choice. You can rock and roll up through seated, or you can roll to the side and press up to seated. So your choice, you can really hug the knees into the chest, and creating that rocking action and rock and roll right up to seated. Just creating a comfortable seated position for yourself. From here, you can start to circle through the spine clockwise or counterclockwise, stirring the pot, creating space and awareness, waking up the core even more with these movements. Even with the outer body being soft, we're building that inner core strength. And then start to circle in the opposite direction. Then as you come forward, stay forward. Fingertips are palms to the earth, head is heavy. Breathing into the back body. You can start to sway the head gently from side to side, just opening the neck. Open the shoulders. You can sway the torso gently from side to side. Breathing into the back body. Going back through center, stilling any movement, stay bowed forward, ground through the sit bones, taking three deep breaths. You 
using arm strength, using core strength, begin to grow your spine tall, arriving and rolling through shoulders up, back and down. So noticing which leg is in front, and we're going to switch that up each time. So rocking back, you're going to bend the knees, floating into a boat pose. So the shins are more parallel to the earth. So arriving here, inhaling, and then as you exhale, rebending the knees, cross the opposite leg in front, bow forward. Use core strength, rolling up, inhaling, coming through boat pose. And then you're going to just exhale, opposite leg in front to bow forward, palms to the earth. Inhaling, rolling up, coming through your boat pose, switching up the cross of the legs and bowing forward. Just a couple more times. Inhale, boat pose, maybe lengthen through legs and arms. Exhale, bow forward. So we're just going to do this one last time and hopefully you're landing on that side that we didn't yet do. So that opposite leg in front, Inhale and exhale. For me, it's my left side. Fingers are palms to the earth. Head is heavy. You can start to sway the head gently from side to side, releasing any tension in the neck. You can start to sway the torso from side to side. Again, we're just creating space in the body here. Notice the opposite hip should be feeling nice and open, getting that gentle stretch there. And then as you find stillness, staying bowed forward, three deep breaths. Begin to press palms into the earth, rolling up through seated, rolling through shoulders up, back and down, plant the palms alongside the hips, lengthen out through the legs. And as you press into the earth, arch the spine, inhale, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, and then as you exhale, rounding the spine, tuck the chin and tuck the tailbone. And then inhaling, offering that opening in the front of the body, exhaling, finding that rounding in, just one more time like that. Finishing after your next exhalation, that rounding in the spine, you can keep that roundedness as you bend the knees, cross at the ankles, you're going to roll over the shins, and just coming into your tabletop position. And if you're lucky, you have a cat just like I do. It's all part of this. <laughs> Being extra cute. So head is heavy. Getting into neck and shoulders. Again, you can sway the head a little from side to side. It may feel good to start to circle through hips clockwise or counterclockwise. Moving the body. Finding what you need, just honoring that in this time that we have. Starting to circle in the opposite direction. And as you come back through center, rounding the spine, start to press the mat away, inner big toes touch. A slow descent back into a child's pose, hips to heels. Forehead can come to the earth or to a pillow or to stacked hands. Whatever feels appropriate for your body. Three deep belly breaths here. Beginning to stretch long through the arms, the wrists in line with shoulders. 
And lifting hips up and back as you come into your down dog. Take your time. You can pedal out through feet, bending knees, lifting legs. Just exploring the body. Finding stillness, one more breath. And step the feet out wide, as wide as the mat. You can keep knees soft as you walk your hands back towards the feet. Finding a forward fold. You can dangle arms, dangle fingers, maybe holding on to either elbow. You can nod the head, yes. Shake the head no. Maybe sway the torso gently from side to side. Just another few breaths here, exploring this on your own. And then bending the knees, think about creating a shelf for the hands as you walk your hands to your knees or thighs, pressing into them as you roll up through standing. Do take your time finding that extension through the spine. You can reach the arms up long overhead, finding length through the entire body. Take a deep inhalation and then as you exhale, floating arms down alongside the body. A moment to step the feet about hip distance apart and starting to roll through the hips. So we're opening up the hip flexors, the psoas, those muscles that shorten when we sit for long periods of time. And you can start to circle in the opposite direction. And then coming back through center, relaxing the arms alongside the body, just standing, feeling strong, grounded, connected. We'll just come into a standing posture. Just want to check the time really quick here. 11.36, okay. So we're gonna quickly get into just a standing pose. So hands to the hips, left foot ground, step the right foot back just into a lunge. You can float the arms up, biceps by the ears. Take an inhalation here. And then as you exhale, framing that front foot, stepping back to plank. We're just gonna flow through a vinyasa. So inhale, preparing. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, cobraing. Strong back body, and then exhale, stepping. Back into down dog. Inhale the left heel skyward and then exhale stepping that foot through back into the lunge. You can inhale rise. Open the arms, open the heart and then hands to the hips as you are ready stepping forward mountain pose. We're just going to do the other side. So right foot stays, left foot steps. Inhale, open. And arch and reach and breathe. One more inhalation with this asana, this posture, and then exhale, framing that front foot, stepping the right foot back, inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale to down dog. Inner big toes touch. Inhale the right leg lifted high. Exhale, step it through. Keep the back heel lifted, and as you are steady, inhale, rise. Hands back to the hips, and we're just going to step forward, back to mountain pose. Relax through the body, relax through the shoulders. You can breathe in through the nose and release out through the mouth. So we're just going to flow to the ground from here. Connect to the breath, finish an exhalation. Inhale. Sweeping arms up. Exhale to fold forward. 
Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms. Again, we're stepping back to plank. You can skip the vinyasa or go for it. Inhale. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, cobra. And this time as we exhale, come into a child's pose. So just resting, reconnecting to the breath. Soften the body. Soften the belly. One more deep breath. And palms can press under the shoulders. So just sitting on your shins for a moment. So you can shift your hips to one side, sweep the legs out, and then just make your way onto your back. You can bend the knees, plant the feet, and using some core strength to arrive onto the back. Draw the knees in towards the chest. Coming into a twist, arms can release out to the sides. Knees over to the right, gaze over to the left. And just soften through the body, releasing any effort, just breathing. One more breath. And take your time, floating knees through center, inhale. Exhale, knees to the left and the gaze over that right shoulder, just heavy the right shoulder, heavy the head. Relaxing and breathing. One more breath. Starting to float the knees back through center. You can hug them into the chest. Maybe just a rock from side to side could feel good. Or you can come into a happy baby, reaching for pinky toe edges of feet. Feet skyward with a deep bend in the knees. So finishing your practice as you need. One more breath, and then sending the legs long, feet wide, arms alongside the body, space between ears and shoulders. Wanting to rest here, so closing the eyes, feeling spacious in the body. As you give yourself permission to take rest.
And begin to deepen your breath. To reawaken your body with movement and fingers and toes. You can roll through ankles and wrists. Open and close the mouth as you stretch arms along overhead. Full body stretch. Yawning, breathing, sighing. Releasing. Bending one knee, bend the other, letting the feet plant. Staying mindful when your movements start to roll to either side, curling into a fetal position. Just a moment to pause. Making a conscious choice of what you want to take with you from this practice into your day. With closed eyes or a soft gaze, take your time, pressing up to seated, rounded spine, heavy head. And just a comfortable cross-legged seated position, starting to grow the spine taller, open the heart more as you bring hands to your heart. Just acknowledging this practice and yourself with a grateful heart. Namaste.